Hello, everybody. So, I finally got the blank I ordered. Let me get this smaller. Uh, the thing is why I'm laughing because I posted on <laughs> on the Kalyana Facebook page. Uh, I ordered the tiny Pandora bangle thing. And uh, I was expecting it yesterday. And then I went and checked on the tracking number and it showed 27... 11.06 p.m. Left San Antonio Center. Hi, Judy. And then it said 28th of June, 12.26 a.m. Arrived to San Antonio Center. Like, what the heck? The guy just got out of the gate with the truck and then forgot his coffee and then he decided, oh, no, I'm not going to, to deliver anything today. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Anyway, so... Uh, I got it uh, today and I waited until I got a little bit of time to do the unboxing with you and uh, what I want to do what I'm very uh, curious because uh, you have seen yes I got it Judy thank you you have seen me uh, doing um, bangles you know like this one was with the metal shift tutorial and then uh, this one is the amber wood tutorial and then I have other bangles that I made and hope to I think that one at, at least I think no I think that these are in the store because uh, I have a lot of stuff still to take photos and put in the store hi Sonia so what I am curious is how much will this uh, make our life easier because normally i make these either using uh, a jar or using my uh, biscuit cutters hi vero bonjour so what i'm going to do i'm going to make one with the bangle and one with the biscuit cutter and then we'll go ahead and see you know i'm going to make a parallel one using just the bangle and one using my normal method and we'll see which of them uh, works better and if this um, makes our life easier or not. So, let's open it. And I already know that in one, at least in one respect, it's going to make my life easier. And that is, if you remember, I made at one point a live just to show, and it should be in, the link should be in the video description, uh, just to show how to do, yeah, you have, Carrie, you have the tutorial, it's the, using the leopard skin. Um, just using the strips, because I, I had the tutorial out alive, just to show somebody how to do a perfectly straight, strip in order to create a bangle so number one we have the instructions here with photos all pretty and they are color photos so let's see it tells you exactly all the process description and also how to use a screen so what's the next next is just a tiny Pandora the little thing I love this little design I, I keep hoping that I'll have time because I want to make a little art doll Yeah, if you look, it should be, Carrie, if you look in my channel, I have tried to put everything in playlists. So there should be a playlist with just bracelets. Okay, hold on. Oh, little finger cards. I cannot really use finger cards, but that is a wonderful uh, gesture. Yeah, I can use the finger cards on the left 
more or less but the right is not uh, my doctor told me to stop doing that because I had uh, the lymph nodes in my armpit removed and any kind of pressure or tying or anything I'm not supposed to even have blood pressure drawn because it can cause uh, lymphedema okay hi Ali hola Alicia yeah we'll see you didn't have time to uh, take care of it yet okay so they are both the same size so it's a good thing because you can do two at the same time you don't have to wait and they look like they are exactly the same size now looks like they are just a little bit oversized cookie cutters because they have this lip here uh, and I saw that in Tiny Pandora's uh, video and I thought uh, maybe I'm missing something because I was expecting this to be straight but uh, I saw I watched her video and I saw that she first puts the the thing here and then works on the base yeah I know but I only got the the round one I'm not into the oval ones I just like the big bangles big round bangles tribal style I think they fit my hands well and then this is what I'm the most interested in I mean obviously this would be very helpful for somebody else I, I just have stuff that is kind of like this but I don't have this Très bien, yes. Merci. Hi, Ellen. So, <laughs> and I see they are covered again. I know, I remember that there was a, um, was it last year or two years ago? It was really funny because um, she had these for the, uh, for the cuffs and uh, the ones for the cuffs are shorter uh, but uh, the thing was that they were coming like this oh wow and there are four uh, strips awesome so you can get an even wider one if you want um, but the, uh, the thing was that a lot of people were complaining that they couldn't peel so Poor Teresa, she started <laughs> she started peeling all of these before uh, shipping them so that people would not complain anymore about not being able to peel these. That's like, what's so hard? I just grab a, one of the corners and come on, I have problems pinching and stuff but I still don't find it that hard oh well I guess she might start again because she might start again getting complaints about people unable to peel and uh, don't get me wrong I mean I know that it is possible uh, when you have um, that I learned how to use my hands because when you have uh, especially osteoarthritis of the base of the thumb it's very hard to pinch uh, it, it hurts really bad here yes very very nice and i took a peek on her video to see how she's doing the domain and uh, as i said i'm going to do it the way she does it and then i'm going to do it the way i do it oh come on See, that's the, until I get the little corner. And if you don't have, because some of you will say, oh, I don't have fingernails like you. Well, it doesn't matter. You can use this. I'm kind of missing because remember, I don't have depth perception properly until I get my other eye fixed but you just can catch the corn the corner with the exacto knife or with any other knife 
I just keep going like this and you'll catch it. Oops. Okay, so we have four of these beauties. So I guess that the third, which of them is fitting, which it doesn't really matter. I guess this one is. And as I said, it doesn't really matter because the important part is to just get uh, the clay here. Because then you can just roll and get everything fixed here. So, this one, right? Let's grab some scrap clay. And obviously I'm going to have to do it longer than this. Yeah, my only issue with this, but it's probably just because of my hands. Uh, whenever I'm using the templates is that I have problems afterwards getting it <laughs> up from the base. I missed. I did the boo boo. This might be good for the second bracelet. <coughs> See this part, and it's just because my hands don't work very good when uh, getting the clay unstuck from the. Oh, I just unboxed uh, Tiny Pandora's uh, bangle kit. And I'm doing a demo and review. Because remember, we're going to do a bangle with it for the that cane that I recently did. Yeah, it is just slightly wider than the form. And there is a little different thing that I do than what she does because she what she does she cuts um, straight like this. Let me actually get this a little lower. So you can see better. So what she does she where my blade? She cuts straight like this and then she removes both the excess on the top and the excess on the bottom and then just put them puts them together. Uh, what I do, I normally, and that's valid both for the back and for the front, I cut this in a diagonal like this. I'm going to do it without cutting myself or anything. And then I come with this like this. Just because it seems to me that it gives a little bit more sturdiness if I do it this way. You can definitely do it like she does if you're more comfortable with it. But as I said, that's my, my little thing. And then I cut it flush with the the rest and I cannot see well the depth perception thing well one thing is for sure by the end of July I'll be able to see everything perfect well close but it's going to be awesome Okay, so you see that there's a little bit of a of an extra here. 
So let's just go ahead and remove the extra. One more time, let me make sure that I did not catch any kind of, and I still have a little bit of a lip here. I know it's a little bit more work than uh, cutting it straight, but as I said, because it comes like this, in my mind, it gives a little bit more sturdiness. And now let's just go ahead and get any overlap. All right, so I got this. Now let's do one on the biscuit cutter. See how that works. And I'm not going to use this just because I want to do the full. Even if, as I said, I'm going to use these a lot. The thing with the biscuits cut biscuit cutters is that you can kind of figure out what size you want just by doing this and you check for a smaller hand you'll use the second one for a bigger hand you use the other one I'm going to do a smaller hand now just because uh, I'll do a very, very fine backing. So, once again, this is already cut. So what I would do, I wouldn't, without these, I would just use my uh, ruler or directly the grid and cut a straight line. Morning, Aileen. So... I'm taking as a point of reference the bottom of the let me get this a little bit like this and the bottom of the little handles and I'm putting up here the straight cut but see I'm not going on the inside with these I'm going on the outside and you can do the same thing on the jar as is in the I, I linked some tutorials in the video description that are that all have pretty much domed except the one that explains to you how to do a straight cut for a bangle for a jar okay so again I'm going to do that diagonal thing And then bring this over. And I'm not going to even uh, cut it completely right now. Just this much because I want to do a perfect cut pretty much. And I cannot do that until I do the bottom. So I'm going to check again if everything is well at the same distance from the edge of the biscuit cutter. Uh, my focusing is not working. Auto focusing is not working very good, does it? Let me do a manual focusing. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Okay, and then I'm going to come and start bending these, folding these like this. And theoretically, you already have the job cut for you, pretty much. And all you have to do is to come once again 
and cut the excess and then see I can look make sure that it's all here and then I can look for above from above and see this little lip here I can just go ahead and cut straight down I have it overlapping then I can come again and check see this is the the advantage with this because you already have both sides hi Chris both sides hi Eva um, perfectly straight while on this one you might have to use a little bit of sanding to make sure that everything is perfectly straight now give me a couple minutes I'm gonna go put these in the oven and we'll do a couple veneers so we can do them properly oh isn't he awesome I think that he's like if angels would come on on earth this is how they would look and sound like i'll be right back Now, where's my, come on, I got the new rubber mat and I'm so happy about it, only that it's harder to pull the, the wheels on the chair. Okay, now let's do some veneer and uh, what I thought was to do a uh, cane veneer. Oh no, he sings in Russian and in uh, French mostly. Uh, but he does have a few songs in English and I think in Italian. I think he he sang something in Italian too. But he doesn't, he doesn't really need to understand the thing he's saying. The vocals are just fabulous. Okay, so I was thinking of doing a silk screen and a cane as a veneers. And... Uh, for the cane, I'm going to obviously use a base. Yeah, I wish I had the. Um, I'm going, I ordered something and I'm hoping to show you a do-it-yourself type of cane slicer that should be easy to make. And I will post soon the update on the Lucy slicer thing. Suffice to say that my friend got her money back completely, but when you'll see how they treated the whole thing and how they treat their customers you'll be appalled and disgusted that's all i have to say but yeah i will show you everything including i'll show you the emails and everything 
and how not only they didn't care about the fact that I brought to their attention that they sent me somebody else's financial information to the point of it being the bank account and the routing number, but um, they kind of didn't care and they sent me how they sent her the money back. So, yeah. Definitely we talked and we not willing to buy anything else from them because if that's how they treat their customers financial information uh yeah that doesn't sound right if you get my drift okay so obviously if it's going to be domed we need to do it a little bit wider so i'm going to use this as a template oh no you know what i should do the the seal screen first because that one needs to dry right so it's better to do the silk screen first. And I do not have a one a tiny Pandora silk screens, but I have a beach comber silk screen of four bracelets. That's pretty much and if you don't know about beach comber, she has beautiful silk screens. She's in Canada. And I think she's still running. Uh, today she's running a sale on all kinds of sea stuff. Let me actually link it for you. Because it was here on my events. Where is on my events? Why doesn't it show me events? It's supposed to show me events. There we go. Okay. Yeah. She's got today and tomorrow. Ocean scenes in miniature. So let me link you the event. And yeah, I got the uh, seal screen from her. And what should I put it on? Let, let me grab the seal screen first. It's this one. And I think it should be long enough. Well, almost. Maybe I'll use something else. Let me see. Because this is, I think, 8 inch. Let's see. I have my brails. If I do this. Let's see this one, how it would fit. Yeah, it's a wedding album. And it's great for silk screen handling okay so if I do it like this and then I put it one more time like this it should be perfect and I absolutely loved these so this requires black this definitely requires black and I'm making messes here but not on a very this is the black that's super soft so I use it for this kind of stuff it's not good for things so oops hey is that depth perception I'm not seeing well how I'm holding the blade 
this should be enough. Judy, I honestly wouldn't order anything from them, ever. I mean, just because both me and my friend sent them emails. At one point, they're very rude when responding. And I thought, first, you know, I gave them the benefit of the doubt about the language barrier. But then, uh, they're like my name and then my friend's name and then because we don't know to whom we are talking to because you don't sign your emails but i'm like dude i have automatic signature in my email not only that but my gmail email is my name how can you say you don't know to whom you're emailing you know and then their last email to me this is exactly how it started with my name then my friend's name so after i told them my email is my name uh so they wrote my name or my friend's name or whoever you are yeah very 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 polite now i'm telling you what i think happened with that uh, with that slicer is that somebody bought a non-assembled one and uh, tried to put it together wasn't able to and sent it back and uh, they didn't even check the box they assumed that it was assembled so they turned around and they slapped an extra 50 bucks on it and they sent it to whomever ordered the next assembled one So yeah, but now I'm going to show you. I need to edit all the personal information out of the documents that I want to show. You know, obviously. But yeah, I will show you the whole exact history and everything. And then with them keeping asking. So when I first contacted them, I sent them photos. That was the email I sent them the day I received the thing. Then I waited over a week. Yeah, Lucy Clay. And then I waited for over a week. Cause they And they replied that, oh, you need to send us photos. And I'm like, seriously? So I went ahead and I did an unlisted YouTube video for them with everything. And the next day, they refunded my friend. But I'm telling you, that's no ever. I mean, not that I was going to get anything from them. But after, and especially the thing with the financial information, that absolutely horrified me. Oh yeah, and then the recommendation at the end, that was the best, because remember, this was a gift from my friend. And that was the, I mean, that was the drop, that if, if the, the glass was not already full, this would have done it. Oh, give me just a second. Their recommendation I, I'm. Uh, if you want, please make new order. Please follow simple rules on LC store. Make or order only for yourselves. Make sure which identity you are going to use as your profile is a bit confusing. Remember, there was no profile. Absolutely no profile. My friend purchased a slicer 
and shipped it to me. So, yeah. And at no, not in, at any moment did I say that I was my friend. I said, my friend purchased this for me. And it would have been obvious that the purchaser address, the billing address, was different than the shipping address. I mean, I don't care if they are just, mm, they lack any kind of professionalism or they are simply stupid. But I don't want to have to deal with that kind of people. And not when it comes to financial information. All the identity theft and all of that. That's scary. Scary, scary, scary. Now, I'm not going to cut all of this, and I'll tell you in a second why. Because, for one, I want to make sure that um, I kind of make a little note here where to place the silk screen. And I might place another silk screen. I know I have a little heart here. Also from Tina. That's a cutie. So this should work pretty in between them. So. Hey. Told you my main problem. I'm going to put this on wax paper. And I don't, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but to me it looks like it's one of those daddy's got enough money and got a little toy business for his daughter. He doesn't really care if the customers are happy or not because there's enough funding behind it, you know. Okay, so I think that I'm going to do some color shift stuff. Don't you think it would look pretty? Prettier than other stuff? Let me grab the color shift. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Of course, it had to be all the way in the, the last one I grabbed. So, if we do the flowers with purple, with raspberry, oops, and I'm going to use this for the heart with blue flash
have my scraper. Just a second, I need to go get something else. Yeah, I cannot find my plastic scraper. I'm gonna just use one of these. Yeah, I know. And Allison Merritt has some pretty silk screens, but I got, uh, I have a thing, you know, I kinda know in the, it's not that I know a whole bunch of stuff, and you know, I said before, I cannot get into, in in groups, uh, mostly because I don't have time. Hi, Laura. Hola. Um, and, but I still know when I got in touch with quite a good number of polymer clay artists. And I have this thing, personally, myself. I prefer, prefer to do business, purchase stuff. Sorry, I'm, I just keep uh, shaking this because remember, you need to shake them pretty good. Um, with the artists that I know and that I know that uh, they are doing their art and trying to keep a business up and everything, even if they are actually battling some really bad hurdles in their life, you know. And uh, that's why, and not only that, but they have good quality stuff. You know, it's not that I got the seal screens from Tina just to encourage Tina. It's because I love the seal screens and then there's one that I want to absolutely make something. Oh, uh, it's got the self. It's gonna stop by itself. Um, it's the one, I don't know if you noticed it, that I fell in love with and I absolutely want to do something with it. It's the, this one. I got a thing with pictograms. I got a pictogram uh, stamp. Well, not stamp, texture. And then there's another one that I want to buy from Cool Tools. Because I have a few pieces that I want to make. See? It's a pictograms texture sheet. I actually used this in that uh, snakeskin, four snakeskin bracelet to make conchos. But yeah, so as I was saying, I, I'm, I'm purchasing whenever I can and they also have beautiful stuff. I get stuff from uh, artists that I know that they have some struggle in their life, you know? 
Maybe I'm admiring them more. <laughs> I don't know. That's stuff. Well, and once I get my eye fixed, eyes fixed, then I'll be able to drive myself better and I'll be able to get back on a diet. Because right now it's kind of hard to keep a diet when you cannot drive yourself at all to the grocery store and you depend on other people driving you. And I'm a little bit, you know, skittish if you want. I don't, uh, unless it's absolutely necessary, I try to kind of keep all my uh, purchasing and maybe once every 10 days. But when you try to go on a diet, you kind of need fresh stuff. So at this point, I cannot do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm here because I want to make a pretty much a mix. Of colors. But yeah, one of the artists that uh, does the most stuff with the color shifts is uh, Alison Merritt. I know she used to be with the uh, Create Along, but now she's something like thinking outside the box. So I was a little bit like, hey, that's my my thing, think outside the box. You took my thing, but you know, I know. She does pretty stuff. She does gorgeous stuff. And she's, right now, I think she can be considered the, the whiz of color shifts. I know I love the, the last thing she posted was uh, some pendants with dots and bubbles and it was cool hopefully one of these days I'll have time to <laughs> try it myself hopefully you never know so notice I'm placing these not on the silk screen itself I hope I don't mess it up because it's uh, I'm not very comfortable with this. It's at the depth perception thing that is not my best at this point. But you pretty much and then grab it and let's place it backwards. are here and my oven dinged okay and now you know the drill I need to put this in water I'll be right back
Sorry for that, but you know that you need to clean your seal screens right away. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for now because I need this to be dry before I get the, the new one and I made the boo-boo here. Oops, oops, oops. Oopsie tripsy. How do we feel thick silk screen boo boos? Very easily. I'll get the napkin and get alcohol. And get here. Very, very gently. There we go. Now let me move it somewhere where I won't mess it up. Because I need that part to dry for me to come and do the little heart. Let me go grab the things from the oven, take them out so they can cool off a little bit. Uh, you usually just wait for the the paint to dry. That's your main thing. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a secret. Uh, when I work the bangles, I pretty much always, always first do the domed base and only and bake it and only after that apply the veneer and I'm going to explain to you why. Because if I have any kind of anything on the domed uh, part, uh, I can sand it off. But if I already put the veneer on, and if it's like a seal screen or something, uh, there's no way I can sand it off, you know? So uh, that's the main thing. I'm going to do the uh, domed part now. And then while the dome part is baking, I'm going to do the cane part and finish the other silk screen. And if I get tired at any point, we'll take a half an hour and then we'll get again on it. So simply insert the, and this is valid for pretty much all of them. Going to have to dry it a little bit more. Being metal, you can put it directly in cold water and 
cool it off right away and work with it. So this one is wider. You can see it is wider. I'm still in the process of rearranging a little bit my studio. It it looks good for now, but I still have to get back and um, I have some clay that I didn't bring in here. I need to get some more of the small totes. I actually can show you. Hi, Teresa. Oh, okay. Good thing that you told me. I didn't know that. I'll uh, I'll do that next time. And I know that the uh, Ethan something fits the biscuit cutter too. So I'm doing both. She is yeah, she's the queen of bangles and the queen of canes. And you know, there's another thing. I always, all my life, I had a a weak spot in my heart for people who lisp. Like if you if you want to get me to love you, start lisping, and I'm going to be like. And I love the way Teresa uh, speaks. I think I I don't know if I told. I think I told you one time. I have a a list. I have several lists, but when I'm upset and when I'm in pain and when, when I'm something like that, I have a list with uh, Teresa's tutorials and I just let it play because uh, it calms me so much. She just has such a calm and beautiful voice. She's like, let me tell you a fairy tale. Okay, so number one, you can see it's much harder to take it off from the biscuit cutter than from the bangle base. Let me get these out of the way. And let's work on the strips. Thank you. So now another thing that, because um, I know Teresa said in in the in her video that if you want to do a less domed um bangle use only two strips instead of three but if you want to do still a nice dome i mean that's my my thing if you want to do still a nice dome but you don't want it to be so tall it's simple use still three strips but make them thinner and you'll get the uh, the very nice dome, but it will be not so tall. Because if you use only two strips, uh, the thing is that you get dome up to here and then flat. But if you get three thin strips, the dome goes higher. I mean, goes more towards the middle, but it's not as high as if you get all the strips on a thickest setting. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to make one more domed and one less domed. And I think I want the more domed to be the one with the silk screen because the color shift, we want the, the angle of view to change a little bit. Super smart, I forgot to turn the <laughs> setting back on thick. That's called derping. I do a lot of derping usually. Make sure 
try to let me get any. Okay, no. So I said I'm going to do the domed one with the silk screens, so I want these three. I want this and I want this. Yes, I got my Pandora order. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put these like this. We'll see if it works. Okay. There we go, and then I'm going to remove one of them. It might not work. Yeah, you got all those coloring things that look neat. And then a second one. Yeah, I did it. And uh, Teresa says in her video that she prefers the liquid clay for uh, putting things together. I personally prefer the bacon bond. Uh, even if it sounds a little bit more gloopy, but you can, you know, I just spread it really, really finely. And I think it's uh, stronger and it's also cheaper, you know. That's the, and now we are going to fight a little bit with this one because I'm at the end of this bottle. Yeah, you, you should do some gators. Did you do, do you have turtles? Because I know people love turtles and hummingbirds. Oh, did you, did you guys see the... Because it's been around the internet for a couple of days that plant with leaves like hummingbirds. I'll have to po put a photo on the on my page. Because I was like, wow, that is so awesome. I don't know if they were leaves or the flowers of the plant. But it was fabulous. And the other thing with the bacon bond if you let it sit after you put your stuff before you start messing around with it if you let it sit for a little bit um it it hardens and sometimes it's almost impossible to pull apart even before i honestly i have no idea where derp originated no idea whatsoever so let's get this here make sure that it is on the good equal stuff And I'm going to do again that. Just for the bottom one, not for the other ones. That diagonal thing. But this time I'm going to do a diagonal cut on the top layer as well. And try not to cut the button, the other one. OK, 
can manipulate it to come straight in place. Yeah, we had a nice uh, live, sponsor live last evening. Yeah, I never used Weld Bond. Honestly, I never did. It's on my list, but I never got there yet. I I don't know. I, my list seems to be always I seem to be always behind because if it's not one thing in my health, it's another. And if it's not me, it's Whisper. And if it's not Whisper, it's the cats. Yeah, that is, and I noticed that, uh, Carrie, the um, Makings actually has the one uh, that is thicker than the one, the zero on the on the atlas. And then there's a little bit of a distance between the one and the two on the makings. And it is thicker than uh, other pasta machines. The two on the makings is pretty much as thick as the one on other pasta machines. The other thing that I do, I never put them when I do stacking like this. I never put them on the same spot because if something happens, you know, they won't uh, mess up at the same spot. So I'm going to go randomly in another direction. So this will be a fairly tall domed bangle. So definitely needs to be a little bit even longer than the, let's pull on it a little bit. And obviously the smallest one will need even more. So I'm pressing to get my line. And then I cut it on that line. And it needs to be a little bit lower. Makings is okay. The only thing I don't like with makings is the rollers. They seem to be coated with some kind of black rubber that is very hard to clean when you when you work with the clay that stains a lot, you know, like red or uh, black or blue, ultramarine. Uh, it's very hard to clean. So yeah, definitely the Atlas is better, but it's also twice the price. Isn't uh, So 80 is one of the ones that they don't make anymore, or is it the blush? I forgot. Because I know they came up with some new colors, but at the same time they stopped making others. Of which the jungle is the one that I don't understand. jungle is so needed for Halloween uh, for uh, Christmas and the winter holidays it's why 
it's ridiculous okay so this one i think i'm going to make it just a bit longer because obviously when you make it a very tall don't the the ones on top need to be larger and larger so i will just i might not need it but i'm just going to be i'll just go continuing the I mean, not larger, longer. They need to be longer. So, yeah, we will use this to do the canes. Not now. It's going to be a separate uh, tutorial. Yeah. Everybody order from Teresa. I love these. I absolutely love these. They are so awesome. There we go. So again, I'm going to get this in the diagonal. Oops, this one, not that one. And then place it here. Again, I'm getting my line here. And there we go. Now, if you watched my other videos on making bangles, you know that I normally put a, make a very, very thin um strings of clay and i place them in the step down here to create a nice rounded i mean i, I would do something like this and then i start rounding up now what uh, Teresa does and I'm going to do that yeah it's going to be a tall one it's going to be kind of like this one see this one is a tall and uh, it's a different see this will be pretty much the difference between this and this see how one is super domed and one is very little domed and the same thing is uh, yeah, exactly what I wanted to show you with the see how this one is the difference between these three this would be the equivalent of having only two uh, layers it's still domed but the dome only comes to about here this one is a tall dome pretty much what we are doing here but this one the dome comes all the way to the middle but it's not as tall as on this one and that is because the um, uh, strips that I used were much thinner they weren't that thick so it's up to you how you want to do it that's why I'm making two different uh, ways so as I said I normally put these strings and then I, I come like this but I'm going to use uh, Teresa's method what she does is let me grab my string out string out she just comes like this and does this I'm going to be very careful not to trap air when I'm doing this Let's get on the other side. 
Well, it's got too much blue. What did I miss? Yeah, the postage is generally ridiculous everywhere. They just increase the price of shipping all over the place. And uh, even in the US to US, it's like in the last year it grew to by almost a dollar for a small flat rate. I know that I use the most uh, small flat rates for shipping and it used to be 615 that it would then it went to 675 then I think to 685 and now it's seven dollars online so yeah I personally seem to have some a little bit of issues using this method might be because of my thumb issues or maybe when you do it this tall with this very very tall uh, layers it's better if you see because I don't have a nice dome it's better to use the strips the strings that I put between the steps. Hi, Robbie. Yeah, better late than never. And uh, remember, guys, you can always watch it in replay. I know it's more fun when we are all here. Okay, that hurts. But uh, if you cannot make it, especially when it's an impromptu live like today, and there's no disaster. Okay, that hurts. Remember, I always look for the path of least resistance because I'm trying not to hurt. Sounds pathetic, but it is what it is. Okay, I'll see, it, that's why I use the color shift, uh, has some glue element in it. So I'm fairly convinced that I can slightly stretch with a lot of care on that. Talking of which, once I'm done with this, I'm going to put the second part of the silk screen on. But yeah, see, I think that your hands are in better shape than mine, Teresa, because I seem to have some problems with the bringing down to create my dome. Let's see if I do this, if it helps. And then I had another idea about how to do these, and I'm an idiot because I know that I was thinking about it last night before going to bed. That like, let me not forget to do it like that. And of course I forgot and didn't do it like that. And now I messed up everything here. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm sure that you'll be just fine, darling. So yeah, I made the mess here. Sorry, I'm going to start again. I'm not happy happy with it, and I definitely cannot do the uh, bring with your thumb. And this time, I promise you, I'll take less time to do it. But yeah, if I'm not happy with how it comes, 
I'm not gonna go like this and make a bad job. Just a second. Okay, so this and this again. Going to try and be faster. Okay, this isn't good. Clay on the brain. Yeah, there, uh, and as I said, yeah, there is a minimal risk of error. <laughs> when you place the clay on the base so let's get back to this What I was thinking, and I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to put this back on the blank. Well, put the side because I want this one first. Hey, come on. So I'm going to put it back on the blank. Make sure that it's fairly straight. And done. Get some of this again on it. But this time it should go much faster because I remembered my thingy. So what I was thinking before I went to sleep, because of course I do. Okay. So what I was thinking was this. See, 45 degrees angle. And without the strip, it would be impossible. And now they should just uh, go perfectly one after the other. So, diagonal. the same thing with this one 
Hi, Donna. Yeah, Susan is awesome. I love her new lacy thing. It really looks like crocheted lace. And it's so easy to do. Okay, so again. 45 degrees angle. Pretty much. Because this would be impossible to do without these strips. And again, angle. Told you it's gonna go much faster. <laughs> and yeah, see now I can have, I have a perfect, pretty much, transition is going to be much easier I still need something here though. Now remember this is one that's kind of as wide as the widest and the strips were not made for this uh, size. Thank you. Did Susan just put something else out? I didn't get any notification myself. And the ETBT, which I needed to be a little bit longer. I forgot I had more here. Do, 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 do. Derp, derp, derp. And I don't, as I said, I don't need it to be very much longer, and just a little bit. Size is awesome. She's one of my favorite people. Okay, now here I'm going to have to do a little trick because I need to extend that 45 degree angle. And it's going to be on the... I'm peeling potatoes. <laughs> it's going to have to go past the extra length so I had to move it a little bit so let's peel more potatoes here It's fine, you don't have to be perfect because everything gets better there. So, diagonal cut. Let's place it.
pretty pretty Why did I cut there? I wasn't supposed to cut there. Ah. Never mind, I can fix it. And there we go. And now it should be much easier. Yeah, absolutely. And I generally, on the big ones, I prefer to work with ultralight. Just remember that the ultralight is very hard to refine in a uh, domed because the moment you touch it, it changes shape. I mean, you have to, to have a little bit of experience to work with the ultralight. But you can always fix it with the sanding, always, always. Okay, this is more pointed than domed, but I'll fix that in a second here. So don't press too hard. You only want to gently finesse the dome. And you can finesse it more with sanding, as I said. Oh, uh, you didn't read what I, I wrote yesterday because I had the second part of the cane coming in. And uh, it was a premiere. Okay. So the hater went and put a thumb down before the video premiered. And I made fun of them on the Facebook page. Well, I kind of know who the hater is. Uh, but I made fun of them because uh, uh, people ask me, you know, don't you, doesn't it bother you that somebody thumbs down instantly the moment that you put in? And I said, dude, I'll be worried when I don't get those thumbs down anymore because that means that I'm not anymore good enough for that people to be obsessed with me. For that person to be obsessed with me so yeah when i won't get those thumbs down out then i'll start being worried okay there we go and here a little bit more do you see what i'm doing here i'm going like this while at the same time rotating No, it's people who try to make you feel bad, you know, but they don't realize, generally people like that have a very low self-esteem self and very low self-confidence, because otherwise when you are self-confident, you don't care what other people do, and if they are better than you, they are better than you, good, more power to them, you know, only somebody who has very little self-confidence and they feel very threatened do stuff like that, you know. And, uh, of course, people like that judge everybody else by the way they uh, behave. So they think that if they come and they put the thumbs down on your video, it's going to put you through so much distress. Yeah, because I am going to lose my sleep over somebody who doesn't pay my bills, doesn't put a roof over my head or food on my table, take care of me or anything. I mean, duh. 
get a grip. I don't live my life for others, you know. They like me, they like me, good. They don't, they don't. Not I'm gonna lose any sleep over that. But people who live their lives do not feel complete unless they are. They get all kinds of uh, admiration and, and that kind of stuff from others. Uh, they cannot feel like they are good enough unless they get validation, you know, and they think that everybody's going to be like that. And it's easy to note because you'll see people who are like that, most of them have um, have disabled their likes and dislikes. And they are not visible anymore. Probably because they are getting so threatened when they get uh, dislikes and it's so bad. And what they don't know is that they lose a lot because uh, YouTube's algorithm calculates the thumbs up and thumbs down. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Uh, it doesn't matter if they are up or down, be down because the algorithm uh, cares about the interaction. But the moment you disable the thumbs up or down being public, the algorithm doesn't read them anymore. So you get less interaction calculated by the algorithm, so your videos will be shown recommended less. So. Okay. I need to kind of look at the chat playing peekaboo behind my camera. Okay, I think that this is, should be pretty good. For now, I can refine it a little bit more. When I sand it. And it's pretty good. So the peeling potatoes worked better for me. Definitely. Because of my issues and this won't even be noticeable because it's going to be covered by the veneer yes absolutely absolutely okay let me do the before i go to the next one let me do the silk screen with the, the heart I said I'm gonna do the heart with the pinks. And I got this other. See, this one has a uh, violet and blue color shifty. I'm gonna put it here and be very careful when I place it so I don't come around and make messes. I have some translucent here and I keep trying to grab it because I have the paper napkin too. And a couple times I reached for the translucent instead of the paper. Yeah, a lot of, but as I said, this is just a matter of self-confidence and self-esteem and the need for the idea that if you're not a good unless you get validation from other people this pink is beautifully pearly stuff
Now let's maneuver this very carefully. Just a minute, I need to put this in the water. Got the thingy. Okay, and this is going to be beautiful. I might actually play some. Uh, rhinestones on it when I place it because I think that some rhinestones would work gorgeous on it don't you think this is also from Tina Oops. okay now let's work on a and this is going to go much faster. And I'm going to go with like a four probably. Or a five. I'll see here in a minute. So I went on a four on makings. So I'm going to go only two on this one. Even though, you know what, I'm gonna go three and I'm going to place one on top of the same width but with a potato peel. I'll have to see if I have teal. I'm not sure if I have teal. I know I have pinks. And some, uh, I have a lot of babies. Now these ones will not need so much extra. Come 
And actually this one might not even need the potato peeling because it's not as tall. I'm gonna do it on the base one though. And probably the next ones don't need it. The camera in the middle of the inset. No, this is a new camera. Uh, the one that's looking at me, it's one of the old, older cameras. And the one that's on the pasta machines is the broken camera that right now doesn't want to work. See, it's not working doesn't show anything I enabled it but it's not working at all I need to look for my first first camera the 5 uh, the C920 and get it for above the uh, what you call it pasta machines Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a diagonal cut on the very base one. So this one will go with canes. Yeah, I'll, I'll move this one here in a minute and show you. My, I have no more paper napkins. Hi. But yeah, I will make soon a studio tour. I still have to fix some stuff in the kitchen. I have still quite a bit of cabochons to sand and buff because remember I had to take a pretty long break from that. because of the eye surgery and then I'll have to take another break from that from the 18th till the 1st of August pretty much so I'm grabbing my line and hopefully this time I'll be aware of the line not cut wrong And here we can go a little bit like this or we can simply do either this or the other way it's up to you to keep a little bit of a bevel here that's going to help us when doing the next ones yeah it's gonna be tomorrow we're gonna make insect wings and I hope to be able to do both the um, dragonfly and the butterfly.
You can tell that I've peeled a lot of potatoes in my life. Huh. Yeah, and uh, the whole idea with those uh, insect wings is, remember, I want to show you how to create the idea of something just by showing to the eye elements of that thing. And uh, people will still think of the whole of the thing. Then in literature, it's actually a... Uh, a technique are evoking something uh, the whole by referring only to a pot So yeah, we can take a break, you know. We can continue this Monday. Might actually continue this uh, later with the seal screen. And then continue later with the Continue the cane one with the tutorial with the cane, you know. That would be a... So we don't make this way too long. Because I've been on for almost two hours and I'm starting to hurt a bit. But definitely, uh, generally speaking, I love this. I'm very glad that I bought it. I mean, I wish that there was no lip on that uh, blank because it would allow me to create the dome much easier if I could work on the front of it nevertheless it's still an awesome thing and I love the the templates they they save so much time because otherwise you need to measure that's what I've shown you in other tutorials when I made bangles. You need to measure, you need to do this, you need to do that. And it's a pain if you want to make a pretty bangle, you know, that wouldn't be skewed or wouldn't be messed up. Okay, now this should be much easier to fix because we have the beveling here. And it's not a too tall dome. And I'm going to use the same method. And I'll do it slowly this time so you can see the how I'm doing the dome when I'm rolling the bangle on the I'm actually going to move the camera so you can see better and talking of the camera so I'll try and lift it so see this is the broken camera and I had it uh, placed here so I can only switch from the program and when I have to show you how to do Skinner blends and stuff, it would directly show the uh, machine instead of having to move, you know, the, the other camera around. And uh, this is the microphone, the new microphone. But let me try and put the camera like this so you can see how I'm rolling the whole thing. Is this good? I think it's good okay so what I'm doing at the same time I'm doing I'm doing this and moving the bangle like this at the same time okay Lydia okay so 
ready this one is not as uh, wide as the other one it's much easier to do this when it's wider when it's a wider bangle than when it's a thinner bangle but see how I'm moving it like this at the same time that I'm moving it back and forth and this helps you you just need to be a little bit persistent for a few minutes yeah one, one camera is used above but the monitor you can see my face in the corner of the I still have a little bit more too but as I said it's easier on the wider ones and you can do it if you cannot do all this movement uh, I have to find the other one Rachel my the old old one because that's enough for the you don't have to show a lot of detail on the pasta machine and should work fine you can just go see you go on an angle like this And then you flip it over. Oh, thank you. It's a family dollar t-shirt. I have a whole bunch of lounge stuff for around the house. And there we are. It's pretty. and you can enhance it with but uh, by doing this you won't get the you will get a, a fairly nicely formed dome very little pressure very little pressure you don't press a lot you, well, pretty much you walk the bangle along the along the tile I'm not pressing you see my my fingers are all relaxed because the simple weight of the bracelet is enough to uh, flatten and smooth it's pretty much enough okay so let me see if I got any extra here this should be it and if you want to be even fancier than this I got some crumbs here come on get off so if you want to get even fancier than this alcohol And it's going to pretty much cover because remember alcohol slightly dissolves polymer clay and it's going to cover all the tiny nooks and crannies that you still have here nah it's Maryland it was on sale so whenever they go on sale I get stuff <laughs> and because I, as I said it's the it's for around the house and uh, also I'm used I'm one of those artists who forgets what they are and where they are so a lot of times I would just wipe my hands and my pen paint brushes and stuff on my pants or on my t-shirt so I don't want to wear around the house anything that I got a mess of oh, breadcrumb here, crumb here. 
uh, that I would be upset if it gets stained. So usually when stuff gets on goes on sale at the family dollar near me, I uh, just buy three or four of the same. And uh, I'm good to go. Because I have a heavy duty washer and dryer, so I only do laundry like every 10 days or two weeks. So, if I can... Uh, have enough to wear in between I'm good okay so there we are see it's less oh, let me turn this back it's still has a dome but it's not as strong as the other one Why is this going like this there we go see this one is more domed and it's also wider but uh, it's still domed. It's not flat. So there we go. I'm going to bake these and I'm going to take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half break because I still need to do something around the house. And then I'll come back and we'll put the veneer. We'll do the... Sorry, Ermia, it's just when I'm taking the break. Uh, we'll do a cane veneer and then we'll put the other veneer on and then we'll finish them. I mean, I'll show the finished stuff on uh, separately. And I need to put in some eye drops. Okay. So thank you for being here with me. And yeah, go go to Tiny Pandora and get, get yourself. These are so awesome. They are fabulous for making stuff. So I'll see you all in about an hour and a half. So that would be for 5 central. Yeah, <laughs> I do that. Okay, see you in about an hour and a half. And then thank you for being here. And I'll put